Hey y'all, today Aunt Lou and I are gonna be making Sloppy Joe soup in our ninja. Oh, I'll have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> kind of give, hard That's to give a high eat. five. to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy and Aunt Lou. And today we're making another recipe from RecipesThatCrock.com. That's our beautiful boss's wonderful website where you should get all of your slow cooking meals. Today we're going to be making one of Lou's famous recipes. It's something so that a lot of people like on the blog and that is Sloppy Joe Soup. Lou, take it away and I shall be the wonderful cameraman. Okay. Well, ow. By the way. That's hot. That's brown hamburger that you're seeing there, and a brown Aunt Lou now. Okay. We need so, a workman's comp for that. <laughs> I don't think so. By the way, it's we're in Florida. <laughs> it's hot. If you notice, we're outside. Uh, we're camping uh, with our family on Christmas side down here for after Christmas into the new year. And we thought about taping inside, but the air conditioner's going because, well, it's like over 80 degrees down here in Florida. Uh, 86. And it's sunny. We're all kind of a little sweaty, a little hot. And uh, so there's a couple things going on. One. This is the only shady spot we could find around the RV. Mm -hmm. So I got power cords run underneath the trailer so that we can have power. We and we're in a nice little spot chicken. here. And the air conditioner, you know, condensation, all that, is running the water off of the RV into a little bitty gutter. It's now right behind me. My trailer's peeing on me. It's so refreshing. It is. Actually, it's kind of nice. I'm just going to stand like back that. here and get dripped on. <laughs> but anyway, back to the recipe. Go ahead. What we got? Okay, we got a pound of ground beef. Then we are going to pour in a can of sloppy joe sauce. Man, which, yep. whatever you like. Now, see, I'm interested in this because I have not had this soup. I am not a manwich fan at all, just never have been. You're going to be a fan I of this I think it's because I was spoiled by my mom when I was a kid how she made sloppy joes. But Chris is a big fan of manwich, mm -hmm. so. That's what we grew up with. Can of minestrone soup. One can of minestrone soup. Maybe. It's making funny noises. Good job, almost. Almost. There we go. Close enough. And that's gonna add a little bit of pasta. It looks like some peas. Uh, Some it more just, beans. In my little town, like we didn't have any minestrone soup, so like we had to search and search. We finally found it at CVS, and it was the last can. So, there we go. Um, pour in your dark red beans, juices, and all. You see that? Those are dark red beans. Don't drain them. Nope. What are those? Light red beans, Light juices, red beans. and all. Oh, look, pretty colors. Pretty, pretty. And don't then drain them. Your diced tomatoes. Don't diced drain tomatoes. Them. Don't drain them. Those look like they might have some onion in them. Mm, like. These look looks Ooh, like garlic Chris got and onion. garlic and onion with Yum. them. And so since these already have garlic in, so we're just going to sprinkle on if the wind doesn't blow it away. A little bit of garlic powder is what she's trying to tell you. Yep. Just to taste, and you can add more later if you want to. Yeah. We're not going to do salt and pepper until the end. You can salt and pepper it however you want to. Right. And so you just stir it all up. Bing, bing, boom. You're done. So if you were to, if you wanted to throw this on um, some morning, do up your ground beef the night before. and Or you could also go and do the make-ahead ground beef exactly. that Chris has done on there. I'll put the link down to that in the description below. And, I mean, it's literally dump, 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 stir, cover. Dump and go. That's and the so, kind of recipes we like. Yep. And we're going to put a lid on it. And we're going to set it on high for two to three hours, pretty much just to heat everything up or and low get for all, four to six. Get all those flavors to meld together. These dump and go yummy. recipes are a party. A soup in a crock pot is a party. And you want to have make sure everybody gets together, gets along, gets to mingles, mingle. you know. That's what makes a party a party. <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to have a little soup party in three. And we are back and the soup is done. We let it cook for about two and a half, almost three hours, about three hours before we came back. And this is what she looks like now. Dun, dun, dun. Steam, oh, I've already done steamed up my camera. Well, it kind of looks like soup. Why don't you give that a stir and see what she looks like in there? It, um, it's still it gonna look like soup. And if you notice the background change in scenery, that's because it got dark it's outside. Dark it gets outside. dark early. But oh my goodness, Loki, that Loki. looks amazing. It is. Look at all the colors in there. You've got all the different kind of colors. Party, of party, beans. party. You've got some of that pasta in there from the minestrone. Is that, is that carrot? Tomato. There's tomato. tomato. An onion. There we go. All right. Well, let's 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 do what we do best. Let's eat. 
Oh, look. A spoon. Two. Okay. I also like to put some cheese on this. Ooh, cheese on this Like would be shredded good. cheese because it's... Kind of like you would a sloppy joe sandwich. Exactly. I put a big old slice of American cheese on it. Marco. Did you know that we had an ancestor named America? The more you know. Stop. Mm. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. So, dear Mr. I don't like man which man, what you think of the soup? That is hearty, as hearty could be. You got all the different beans in there, plus your meat, so you got plenty of protein. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of flavor. It To me, it tastes like a really, really, really good bean chili with a little bit of pasta in there. And I, I know, I know we have had multiple oh, wow. conversations and arguments you and debates. You can taste the sandwich in there? Mm -mm. Not as much as I can taste the tomatoes. But yeah, there's but a little bit of pasta and I know some people are going to be like, you don't put pasta in chili. You know what? It's very little. <laughs> it's a little bit and it goes a long way. Oh my gosh, that is so it, good. Yeah. But now I, I know why that's so popular. I guess it's a because I am a manwich girl, I can definitely taste the manwich and I like it. Oh, look. I even got a green bean you in that one. Green bean from the minestrone soup. Mm. Kind of give, hard to give a high five. Oh, well, hey, that is super, super good soup. I love it. Really, really simple to make. The hardest work you're going to do, other than waiting, is browning your ground beef. Mm -hmm. If you make a bunch of that make ahead ground beef, I'm telling you right now, that's Easy one of the things you want to put in a pot. That is a dump and go recipe, and that will make the family happy. Mm -hmm. It's definitely made this guy happy. And we want to make you happy. So if you're happy, Give us a thumbs up down below. And also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, click the little subscribe button down below, and boom, you are a member of the Croc Posse. Also, click that little bell next to the subscribe button. What's that called? The mic you... Oh, wait, no. I mean, dingling. Same thing. <laughs> click the dingling. We'll let you know as soon as we put up a new video. And also, whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye. Bye. It's more that soup. That is super, <laughs> super good. <laughs> Hey y'all, today Aunt Lou and I are gonna be making some low, it's not low carb. Nope. It's high carb, yay. In this light, you kinda look like you have a halo. I do have a halo. <laughs> they only do. In her normal light, she has horns. <laughs> okay. If you wanna see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.